What's up, high levelers? Funnel Doc here. Today's video is a big one. You've all been asking for it. Super exciting. And it was just released inside a high level that you can now set up your own MCP actions out. Super easy in Voice AI. Not only today am I going to teach you everything you need to know about MCPs, but I'm going to also see show you how to set everything up. By the end of the day, you'll have your own MCP action set up and calling for your special tools that you want to use. See you inside today's video. What's up, high levelers? So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. I think of it as uh, a set of easy instructions for AI to know how to use a specific tool. So it used to be if you wanted to set something up, you'd have to set up different workflows and different actions within the AI agent. And now you can do what's called an MCP, which an MCP is um, just like I said, a bunch of actions or tools that the AI understands. If I want to look up a contact, I can now use this request over here, this API request, which is attached to the MCP and the API for people who don't know, uh, it's like a fancy telephone call. API request is like if I wanted to uh, call, make a phone call to Zillow, for instance, and find out information about a house. Instead of actually making a phone call, what I can do is use an API request to Zillow, send out a request for certain information, and then that information will come back to me via API. The cool thing is you can attach as many API requests as you want to some degree to an MCP node or servers. Think about it as a server as, um, as the calling point that all these are attached to. It's like the hub. The MCP is the hub of all the actions that you want to feed into it. So if you want to uh, create a new contact, if you want to make an email, if you want to send out an email, each thing is an individual, usually its own individual uh, API request. So now, rather than having to make it really complicated, you can now say, hey, when you want to send an email call on this tool, it will go down to the MCP, find that tool, and be able to make that request. And it makes it a lot easier. And you're going to see that today when I show you how to actually create these in high level, as well as how to set it up and everything you need. So with that, let's jump inside high level. All right. So to access your MCP, you can use any different MCP you want now that you understand all about it. But we're going to be focused on the high level MCP server today. Now, the link to be able to access this is down below. You'll see it's marketplace.gohighlevel.com. And then you can click on right here on MCP server, and it will tell you everything about it. Now, the main things you need to know are right here. You're going to be using this URL, and you're going to need to be putting these headers in right here for authorization and your location ID. Now, here's all the different endpoints that you can actually use. And here are the scopes that you're going to want to set up to be able to access all those endpoints. So you're like, what does that mean, Jeff? So what you're going to do next is you're going to go into your actual account here. So let's log in your base account. You're going to go down to settings and you're going to make what's called a private integration token. So you're going to go down here, make everything a little bigger for everybody. You're going to go down here to private integrations. You're then going to say it will look like this. You won't have an integration token yet. You're going to hit create new integration. You'll name it whatever you want and provide it whatever description you want. That's pretty much more for your uh, understanding and your, your separation, you know, that type of thing. And then you're going to define your scopes. Now, if you look right here, you need to view contacts, view conversation, edit conversation. All these different guys are the ones that you're going to want to put in there. So you'd come in. And uh, what I would recommend doing would be talk in, type in contact first. So you want view and edit, and then you're going to do conversations, and then you're going to view. Uh, view location. Okay. So once you've got it all set up, it's going to look similar to that. You're going to hit then create. It's then going to give you your private integration token. You're going to want to save this somewhere. Do not give this to anyone. This one I'm going to delete as soon as we get done. So don't try and copy and use it because it won't work. Uh, but you're going to want to do the same for you. You will not be able to see this again. I cannot stress this enough. You will not be able to see this number again. 
I like to use one pass, which is a uh, like it's like last pass, but you can use API tokens and integrations. You can save them there. Uh, I wouldn't recommend saving them in Google. It's not that secure. You'd be surprised, but you need to save this somewhere. So with that being said, once you've copied it, this is going to be your bear auth. So you're going to come in and the authorization right here for bear, you're going to paste that number in right there when I show you in a second. Okay. And then the other thing you're going to need is location ID. So when you go to your location right here at the very top, You'll see it says location and then the numbers after it right here from one forward slash to the other is your location ID. You can also go into your actual business profile and get your location ID here as well. See how they exactly match. So once you have that, that is going to be what you'll be using right here for location ID. So once you've got your scope set up, you got everything ready to go, you're then going to go to your actual AI agent. So you're going to come in here, you're going to go to AI agents on the left side. Now this only works in voice. Now I've already got an agent created for today and you're going to have to be an upgraded agent. It can't be on the old plan, so make sure you turn that on. So the next thing you'll do is you'll come right here and once you log in, you'll go and create everything. You're going to scroll down. Now the thing you're going to see in agent goals at the very top that's different is now you've got foldable sections. And here's your regular stuff, your general actions, and you'll say I've, you've got a model contact protocol section. Now to add one, all you're going to do is you'd come in here and you name it like this is the high level level MCP. You would then come in, you'd copy this URL up to the double uh, forward slashes, copy it. You'd come back in and then you would paste it right here. Now your timeout is how many milliseconds it's going to go until it, until it doesn't work. And then it's going to say, oh, we timed out. And that's like uh, 10 or 100 seconds, I guess, milliseconds, 10 seconds. Uh, now your headers are very important. You don't need anything in your parameters right now, but your headers are super important. You're going to go in, you're going to copy authorization, just the word, not the brackets, just the word, not the brackets. Then you're going to get your bearer token, whatever that token was, um, and you're going to paste it in. Now, you mind you, you want to type in the word bearer or paste in the word bearer, and then it's going to be whatever your token uh, was. So it's going to be pit, um, whatever it is. So it's going to be pit, blah, 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 like uh, there you go. So that's going to be authorization token. The next thing you're going to do is location ID. And uh, make sure it's spelled the same. Yeah, lowercase, uppercase. And then the location ID again is just your location ID at the very top. So again, you're going to go in, get your location ID. You're going to copy that. And then we're going to paste that in. And boom. And then once you've done that, you're done. Your MCP server is set up. Everything's good. Your authorization, everything is connected right now. You then hit save, and then you're going to see it's going to look, and you're going to have a blank one. It's going to say add tools. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is when you cl click on this at the top, see it's searching the MCP. You can see it circling, and then it pulls in all the different things. So if you come right now and look at this list, this list right now has now been brought in here, and you can pick any of these tools you want. One of the problems is you can only pick up to 10 right now per uh, total. So you could have uh, one MCP with one tool attached to each one, but you can only have 10 total tools available per AI agent. So if you wanted an agent that did something completely different than weren't on these 10, you need another one with another uh, MCP connected, and then those last ones would be attached to it. Super easy to do. So you, once you come in, you can click your tools, You'll then pick your tool, like let's say we want to add uh, alt contact task. So this would be when the user wants to um, get all tasks for a contact. First, look up the contact before getting the task. I like to give it a little uh, extra in there. I'm still testing to see how much that's needed, but I always like it to know, hey, you need to look up the contact first. 
Now, this isn't necessary. I do have some of the support documentation right here that uh, High Level's giving me. The link to this will be down below. And you'll see right here, this just uh, enables it for more uh, dynamic responses if you wanted to use it within the conversation. So if you wanted to pull in some variables um, and responses from this, and I wanted to use it within the conversation, you put it in there. Now, they'll still pull in the information, but you'll see this might be something more specific. So you've got also speak during the execution. Let me check that for you. If the function takes longer than two seconds, it's going to say that. It's usually really quick. And then speak after execution. Unselect if you want to run the function silently. So if you don't want them to say anything after they run it, click that and it'll be quiet. So once you're good to go, you'll hit save uh, and then save it on your uh, and then save it on uh, your different tools. Once you're done with that, you'll have your MCPs all good to go. It's really that easy, that quick. Location ID, your bearer auth, setting up the private integration token, copying and pasting the stuff I showed you, selecting the different tasks and telling them what to do, and then you can come in here and you can actually test it. Hey, you have reached everything AI. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, can you do me a favor and look up contact Molly and can you add the contact you're the best uh, to it, please? I found the contact Molly and successfully added the tag you're the best to her profile. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to do. Uh, no, have a wonderful day. Thanks for all, all your right. help. And then there's the tag that you can see right there. So it's really that easy to set up. Uh, I wish I could tell you it's harder because uh, you guys are all going to take my jobs. No, I'm joking. But this is really great. I'm super impressed that High Level set this up and made it so accessible for you. I can't wait to see them adding more tools for more expandability. But this is a great start for everyone to be able to access any MCP you want, let alone the High Level one. Have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Funnel back out. Peace.